Question 3 of this exercise says, Construct the angles of the following measurements. 30 degree, 22 and half degree, 15 degree. So let us start with 22 and half degree first of all. So for that we need to draw 90 degree. Then we need to bisect it. We will get 45 degrees. Again we need to bisect 45 degrees. We will get 22 and half degrees. So let us start with the steps of construction. The first step is draw ray PQ. So we need to draw a ray that is PQ. So let's draw it. So this is a ray that is PQ. Now let's move on to the next step. In the next step to construct 60 degree angle, draw an arc of any radius with P as center intersecting PQ at R with R as center and same radius draw an arc intersecting the previous arc at S angle SPQ equals 60 degree. So we'll put the compass at P and we'll take any radius and we'll draw an arc like this that intersects PQ at R. Now we will put the compass at R and using the same opening we will draw another arc that intersects the initial arc like this and we will name it as S. So we will join P and S and we will get angle SPQ that equals 60 degree. So we will get angle SPQ as 60 degree. Now in the next step to construct adjacent 60 degree angle with S as the center and same radius as before intersecting the initial arc at T. We will get angle TPS equal 60 degree. So we have to put the compass at S and using the same opening we have to draw another arc that intersects the initial arc and we will name it as T. Then we will join T and P, we will get angle TPS as 60 degree. Now we need to bisect angle TPS. So with T and S as centers and same radius as before, draw two arcs to intersect each other at U. We will get angle UPS that will be half of angle TPS that equal 30 degree. So we'll put the compass at T and we will draw an arc like this. Again we'll put the compass at S and we will draw another arc that intersects this arc and we'll name it as U. Now we just have to join U and P. We will get angle UPS that equals to 30 degree. So we have got angle UPQ that equal angle UPS plus angle SPR that equal 30 degree plus 60 degree that equal 90 degree. So we have got angle UPQ as 90 degree. Now we will take this point as V. Now the next step says to bisect angle UPQ with R and B as centers and radius greater than half of RV, draw arc to intersect each other at W, join PW, PW is the angle bisector of UPQ. So we'll get angle PWQ that will equal half of 90 and that equal 45 degrees. So we'll put the compass at R and V and we'll take the radius more than half of RV and we will draw arcs. So let's put the compass at V and let's draw arc with radius more than half of RV. So it will be like this. Then we'll put the compass at R and we will draw another arc with the same opening of the compass and that will intersect this like this. And we'll mark the point of intersection of both the arcs as W. Then we just need to join P W will get 45 degree angle. So we have got angle W P Q that equal 45 degrees. We will take this point as Y. Now in the next step to bisect angle W P Q that equal 45 degree with Y and R as centers 
and radius greater than half of yr draw arcs to intersect each other at x join px px bisects wpq hence we will get angle xpq that is half of angle wpq and that equal 22 and half degree so we'll put the compass at y and we'll take the radius more than half of yr and we will draw an arc like this again we will put the compass at r and with the same opening we will draw another arc that intersect and we'll name this point as x then we need to join px so let's join p and x so we have got this angle angle xpq as 22 and half degrees so we have got our angle that is 22 and half degree now let's learn how to draw 30 degree and 15 degree so let's draw 30 degree so for that we need to draw a ray pq so let's draw a ray that is basically p q so this is our ray that is p q now to construct an angle of 60 degree with p as center and any radius draw a wide arc to intersect pq at r with r as center and same radius draw an arc to intersect the initial arc at s we'll get angle spr equals 60 degree now we'll put the compass at p and we'll take any radius and we'll draw an arc like this that intersects pq at r we'll name this point as r and now we'll put the compass at r and using the same opening we will draw another arc that intersect this initial arc now we will name the point of intersection between these two arc as s and we will join p and s so we'll get angle spr that equals 60 degree now we have got angle SPR as 60 degree. Now in the next step, to bisect angle SPR with R and S as center and same radius, draw two arcs to intersect at T. Now we need to join P and T, that is PT is the angle bisector. So we'll get angle TPR, that is half of angle SPR, that equal 30 degree. Now we'll put the compass at S and we'll take the radius more than half of SR and we will draw an arc like this then we'll put the compass at R and we will draw another arc that intersect this arc and we will name this point as T then we need to join P and T so we have got angle TPR that equal 30 degree now to find 15 degree we just need to bisect angle TPR now we will take this point as V and in the next part to bisect angle TPR with V and R as centers and radius greater than half of VR draw arcs to intersect each other at U then we will join P and U we'll get PU as the angle bisector of angle TPR so we'll get angle UPQ that equal 15 degree so we'll put the compass at V and we'll take a radius greater than half of vr and we'll draw an arc like this then we'll put the compass at r and using the same radius we'll draw another arc and we'll name this point as u then we just need to join p and u so we have got angle u p q that equal 15 degrees to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.